Today's world revolves around digital devices, be it ACs, PC computers, laptops like these, internet modems and so on. And the biggest enemy of these digital friends is the voltage fluctuation. There's this one massive spike which, you know, takes out lakhs of rupees worth your equipment as well as gives you headache and wastes your time. And to protect these home appliances, I've been using variety of stabilizers. I think I have roughly like half a dozen stabilizers right now in active duty and they've been working all right. But the problem with those small stabilizers is that you need a separate unit for AC. You need one for the inverter and you need one for the washing machine and so on. That means that your expense as well as the mess with wiring and connections just goes on increasing. And today, guys, we are going to discuss a solution to this very problem in the form of Dykesel 10 kVA heavy duty mainline stabilizer. One of these boys is enough to protect all home appliances in a medium sized house. Dykesel is a Delhi based brand which is making variety of appliances, for example, stabilizers for AC, mainline and EV use. And they've also been making lithium ion based inverters. Today's review is a detailed point wise compilation. If you want to pick up a particular point, you can do that using the chapters feature, which is below this red line over here. But I'll recommend that you watch this video entirely without skipping because there's going to be a lot of testing and plus pay special attention to my conclusion. If you are planning on protecting your home appliances with the use of any stabilizer, let's start with the point number one that is unboxing and box content and the packaging overall has been really good i mean double box double foam other brands should absolutely learn from dykesel when it comes to packaging and shipping out uh, appliances through courier agencies so what we get in the box is one heavy duty stabilizer one user manual which is uh, pretty well detailed we also get a mounting plate which is attached here for wall mounting facility and then we get this special warranty card guys dykesel is offering you industry leading one plus four that is five year comprehensive warranty i don't think any other brand is giving such kind of warranty please register this warranty within seven days of receipt of your device to activate it and yes this warranty comes with convenient pick and drop facility so your faulty stabilizer will be picked up from the comfort of your home and a new one will be delivered to you that means you should not absolutely worry when it comes to service with Dykesel. Let's talk about the build quality and while unboxing this thing, I immediately noticed that the product is very heavy. Weight is about 19 kgs. That is due to this strong metal body. The switchgear MCB are from French company Schneider and not from some any other odd local brand. The main wires are 6 square mm and there is this heavy metal plate to cover and protect the terminal blocks. Overall, the build quality is very impressive, which is also confirmed by hundreds of positive Amazon reviews. Let's talk about next point that is what is inside and what is the internal component quality. And I feel that the satisfaction of my subscribers is more important than the warranty of this device. So what we did is we ended up opening the whole thing for you guys. Please do not try anything like this on your own. What we see inside is a large size toroidal transformer, which is generally known to be better than squarish EI core transformers. This thing comes with a fanless design. Now, I remember that my Microtech stabilizers, which come with the square EI transformers have a, a fan design, but uh, my Alten and this particular dike cell over here, which comes with the round toroidal transformers do not need a fan because toroidal transformers are very efficient and hence you do not have to worry about you know those fans failing or those fans making any kind of noise it comes with a nice little fanless design for peace of your mind you can check the quality of relays and circuits dykesel is using zero cross switching technology and high efficiency toroidal transformer which promises minimal power loss well don't worry in this video we are going to test out all of it Internal wiring is also square mm, which I really liked. Let's talk a bit about this copper versus aluminium debate, which has been going on. And this particular model does come with an aluminium transformer. Dykesel is offering both aluminium as well as copper models. If you have a higher budget, you can go with a copper model. Otherwise, I think that there's absolutely nothing wrong with a simple 
aluminum based model as well. I've been personally using aluminum transformer based stabilizer since a few years now from variety of brands be it like Microtech, be it Alten and none of them have failed as of yet. Uh, let's talk a bit about idle draw. Now what is idle draw? Guys, every machine when it is working tends to consume some amount of energy for itself. This thing is known as idle draw, standby power consumption or no load current. So what I did well, I tested it using my trusty Meko power meter and oh boy, what is this 12 watts? I can't believe my eyes because what I was expecting generally is that this uh, stabilizer to consume 40 watts, 50 watts of energy because that is what most of the other brands do. But oh boy, like 12 watts, that's really very efficient. Hats off to Daikin for this kind of uh, efficiency. I think I can call it a green or eco-friendly stabilizer. It won't be very wrong to call it that let's talk about next uh, point that is protection and feature and this stabilizer gets a high voltage cut low voltage cut short circuit and overload protections inbuilt here there's a multifunctional lcd display which will show you the output voltage input voltage high voltage and low voltage indications and there's a convenient five second countdown delay timer i find that this five second timer is pretty convenient because i've seen other brands having like one minute or even three minute long timers before they turn on your ac or before they turn on your appliances after a power cut now already you might be sweating a lot you know coming out from the shopping and you want just you just want to turn on your ac like this and your stabilizer ends up putting a very annoying three minute timer uh, before the ac turns on that's really really not done and thankfully with dike cell the timer is only five seconds which i found very very nice in the front what you see is a bypass mcb so in rare case if there's a fault with your uh, stabilizer what you can do is you you can first uh, turn off the main mcb of stabilizer and then turn on the bypass mcb that will provide you know current to your appliances in case of fault with this machine just remember do not turn on both of these mcbs at once turn off the working mcb of the stabilizer first and then turn on the bypass feature uh, let's talk a bit about uh, display accuracy and i tested it with my trusty sigma 313a clamp meter and as you notice on both of the displays they are like within a volt or so of each other and hence i can say that the lcd display on this dixel stabilizer is very very accurate uh, let's discuss a bit about which model to buy as per the load capacity because generally the models that are available with these stabilizers are in the range of 5 kva 10 kva and 15 kva now this particular model is 10 kva and it comes with 40 amps load capacity so what it can handle well it can handle one ac and all other home appliances in a medium sized house for example water pump washing machine pc computer tv fridge and cooler if you just want to run the acs then easily this device can run two acs and if you want to use big himalayan jumbo coolers then it can effort effortlessly run four big coolers for other load combinations you can pause the video and focus on this particular chart over here if you still have doubts then please open the comment section and shoot away your queries and if you want to discuss further then you can join my telegram group which is available right here uh, let's talk a bit about working voltage range versus the actual voltage fluctuation in the area now this particular model comes with 130 to 300 volt working voltage range what is working voltage range well it means that the stabilizer turns on it starts working from 130 volt now if you want to get accurate 200 to 250 volt which is generally the safe uh, voltage range for appliances in india i think you should use this 130 volt stabilizer in an area where the actual fluctuation is somewhere between 150 to 280 volt now did you notice i put a margin of around 20 volts on both sides so guys whenever you're buying a voltage stabilizer always put 20 or 30 volts of margin on both ends which means that the working voltage range which is advertised on your stabilizer should always be wider than the actual voltage fluctuation in your area say that if uh, your area has what voltage fluctuations as low as 120 or 130 volts then i will recommend that you should go with its elder brother which comes with 90 volt working range just because a stabilizer advertises 130 volt range don't expect that okay this is a 130 volt stabilizer i'll give it 130 volts and it's going to make 240 for me no it does not work like that it needs some amount of margin to work so always buy something which is 
wider than the actual fluctuation in your area. And all the models with respect to different capacities as well as different voltage ranges are available in this video's description. First comment or in the view product section right over here. Please use my affiliate sections to support me because your purchase price is anyways going to be the same. Let's talk a bit about pricing and conclusion. And at the time of making this video, the price for this particular model was 13,000 rupees and it is available both on Amazon and Dyxel official website. Prices keep changing. So please check the affiliate links for latest prices. Now from where to buy this thing? I think that the benefit of buying this thing from Amazon is that you get discounts coupons and card offers but anyways i have given both kinds of links so you can buy them as per your comfort and convenience overall today i had a very decent experience with this product we did all the basic testing we had a good overview now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this on a long-term test and check its performance during actual heavy voltage fluctuations videos and shorts will be available with respect to those topics in due time so to watch those videos first make sure you hit that subscribe button right away and as made these videos will be added to my all about stabilizers playlist the clickable card for which will be available right here and if you want to check out my stabilizers reviews with respect to other brands like microtech and alten they are available right here you can click on any of these particular cards and jump to those particular videos learn something new about stabilizers today that's it for this neat little video guys i hope you liked it Take care and have a nice day.